What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of I try out new makeup, some expensive, some not expensive and let you know whether or not it's worth your money. It's a working title. Basically, I've got a whole lot of new makeup. A lot of things have been kind of like trending, a lot of people have wanted me to try out. I literally got sent this today, the new foundation from Huda Beauty. It's the Glowish uh, multi Juice Skin Tint. So I thought I would put that on my face. I've got some new glosses that are stuck together. I've got the new Huda Beauty bronzers. What else? I've got a bunch of products that have just come out, like this palette here from Mitchell. This, I really wanted to show you this in its entirety. I got sent the new Refi collection and like, look at this freaking PR box. Like what is, I mean, I'm, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining everything. There's a nice note. Thank you, Jess. And it's got like your own little magazine spread in there. And we've got the new collection. So I'm gonna try and get some of those products today. So yeah, if you guys wanna try out some new makeup with me and make this look a whole lot better, please stay tuned. There is no space on my desk right now. So I'm just going to push everything to the side and on the floor. Where is my other hair clip? <gasps> oh my God, I have been looking for my brow freeze for the past few days and it was right in front of my messy desk. So first off, I want you to come closer. Keep it coming. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with the Mitchell eyeshadow palette. So this is the Made by Mitchell Mini Mitchell Volume One and there's a whole load of colors in there. Got a couple of neutrals in the middle as well, which is really nice. You can do a little bit of everything. I think I'm mostly gonna focus on these guys. So I'm just gonna pop some of my P. Louise base on my lid. Before I actually do anything, I might just slick my brows up because I don't have any brow gel to try it today. Honestly, I was like panicking that I was gonna have to buy another one of these. Oh, I just love it that much. So I'm gonna pick up some of that. There's a cat hair in it. It's 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 on brand for me now at this point. I look. Just slick them up. Honestly, I live for this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight in with the color sour. It's like a matte purple. I'm going with a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna sketch that in my crease. Not tried any of Mitchell's eyeshadows before. They're quite pigmented. And it doesn't really seem to have any fallout or anything yet either. Then I'm gonna take a cleanish brush and just blend that out. Blending it quite nicely. Just gonna build it up a tiny bit more. And I'm gonna fully wing that out because I'm probably gonna wipe it away in a second. Try and just make it a little bit more intense. And then I'm gonna go in with a bit more of my P. Louise base and do a little swoop. Look up and around. So I know where my eyelid is. There you are. I'm then gonna go straight in with that pink called Wapink. I feel like I'm not getting as much pigment out of these as I was maybe expecting to. And I've got a wet base. I'm not being shy about, you know, any potential fallout or anything. There's nothing wrong with the actual shadows themselves, but I feel like they're a little bit more muted on my eye than they maybe are in the pan. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with more of that sour shade. I'm gonna take it on quite a big brush because I wanna really intensify that on the outer corner. That's better. I don't care how messy I get on the side of my face or anything. I just want, bam. I'm kind of wondering if I should just do that color. I love that color. You don't know. I just feel like it's just not my most favorite thing ever. I'm sorry. It does look nice though and they, the eyeshadows are nice. I was just kind of expecting a bit more like... I'm gonna take one of these Sample Beauty liner things. I'm kind of thinking, should I take green? Yellow could be a good option. Like these look pretty intense. They look pretty cool. I might just do like a little kind of half cut crease situation with that. I'm just gonna take a little liner brush and my hands are so shaky today. My hands are really shaky at the moment in general, but I'm gonna try and do this. That's screwing up. Just going over again, just to make sure it's nice and opaque. Might do something else to that in a bit. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. <gasps> There's my reflector. I can find a reflector for ages and I just find it in my drawer, ready? Watch my, my chin. Light under my chin. 
Just gonna shove that back under there. So then like I said, I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup. I'm just going to swoop that up there. Might do that again in a minute, but that's fine for now. This might look quite nice actually once it's done. I'm always, I'm always weirded out when I do my eyes first. It doesn't matter how many times I've done it, I do it and I'm like, am I not very good at makeup anymore? I'm already just powering ahead with the other eye. But yeah, to save myself a little bit of time and you guys, uh, I'm gonna do the other off camera. Was that even a sentence? I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we'll do the face. Okay, eyes are done for a second and now I'm gonna move on to primer. So this is the NYX Hydra Touch Priming Base. Awkward moment while I try and rip off the lid. Ooh, it's almost like quite gel-like. Oh, it feels very hydrating. It feels like quite cooling on the skin. Yeah, it's like a thin consistency, but it does feel nice and hydrating. It doesn't really seem to sink in too much. It's giving me, giving me a little bit of moisture. I just want my face to be moistened. Whoa, okay, I'm just trying to wipe off just a few bits of my hand. That sample beauty stuff, that's gonna take a while to come off. So then for the foundation, like I said, I have this one here from Huda Beauty, the Glowish Multi Juice Skin Tint. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade medium, or let's do light medium. Remember, matching my body, not my face right now. I'm really curious about this. Is that gonna work? Looks quite cool toned almost. Hmm, should I try the light one? I don't know. Let's try that before I open up too many things. Let's try this and I can always lighten it up a little bit. So they also sent over this brush. This is called the Airbrush Finish Brush. It's weird, I've never used a foundation brush like this. But okay, I'm gonna take some more of that. Like I said, if it's too dark, don't worry, I will fix it. And what does it say? Dewy glow, healthy looking skin, fragrance free. You can also add it to your favorite foundation to boost luminosity. I feel like the color's a slight touch too dark, but I'm gonna be concealing and everything, so I will just put a bit more concealer around like the perimeters of my face, just so it doesn't look too much. So just excuse me for the next couple of seconds while I just blend all this out because I know it's not 100% right right now. The finish does look quite good though. It's very, very dewy, but I'm really kind of liking that at the moment. But yeah, I'd say this one's definitely a little bit more almost cool toned. I'm gonna use a different brush because I feel like I'd probably just use something like this instead. It's got very, very light coverage, which is what you'd probably expect, but it gives you enough to kind of blend everything out and just makes your skin look a lot more healthy. Like it doesn't really look like I've got foundation on right now. It just looks like my skin has suddenly just gotten a lot clearer. And it's blending out with this brush quite nicely. This brush is weird, it's doing the job, but it's like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it would do the job, but it does. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that for a minute. Very shiny. I know you're probably not day to day. You guys probably don't walk around and neither do I, contrary to, as I said, popular belief. I'm sure no one thinks this, but no one's walking around with lights like this in front of their face. So it's not gonna look this glowy. And by glowy, I mean shiny, but it is, I would wanna powder this down for sure. I would 100% wanna powder this down. And I've been liking things a little bit more glowy. I've not really been powdering down my face too much at the moment. I need some powder on my face. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. So this is the new Fenty Beauty Bright Fix. I have the shade Butter and Melon. And I'm actually gonna mix the two together, I think. I feel like that'd be a better color for me. So I'm gonna take some of that on this brush here. And just start furthering that out underneath and then I'll start blending it in as I go. Okay, I don't know if I like the formula, but the way that's covered up my under eyes has done it in a really, really nice, just like you kind of expect, like brightening sort of way. It doesn't look, it doesn't look too shiny. It doesn't look overly cakey. I'm wondering if it would be better to just pat it in with my finger actually. Yeah, I think I prefer it just patting it in with my finger. And then like I said, I'm just gonna lighten it ever so slightly around my jaw. Okay, that'll do for a minute. The one thing I am noticing, and it happens sometimes, I'm noticing a tiny little bit of texture, if I show you on the macro, on my chin, just a little bit. It normally happens more with like matte foundations and stuff, so I'm curious to see how it'll look once I powder it down. Um, but yeah, just something to be a little bit aware of. So then I'm gonna take this massive box from Refai and I'm gonna get the gloss. I'm gonna grab one of the cream blushes. I know, look at me doing all this cream stuff. I'm gonna grab this blush here. And then I've got the bronzer in the shade Sand. So I am gonna be trying out the other Huda Beauty, other, other Huda Beauty, uh, the other Huda Beauty one. But I do wanna give this a little go. 
I'm actually gonna take this brush here. This is just a S3 blush brush. I will try it the other one on the kit at some point, but um, I just wanna try it out with the brush I kinda know. So apparently this is quite lightweight, but you can build it up. I don't wanna build anything up too much because I'm already airing on the edge of looking a bit too bronzed. But let's try this. Yeah, this is really, really subtle, which is a good thing. Subtle is good with this kind of thing for me, especially. I quite like this. I know it's early days, but I, I could get on board with this. I've been using a little bit more cream products recently. I know, I'll probably change my mind at some point and go back to just covering myself in 18 layers of powder, but this is really, really nice. Get on my neck just a tiny bit, just to blend me in. So the rest of me is tanned enough, but then just shoulders upwards is a no. That looks really, really nice so far. I'm gonna give it another go. I want to do like a full on, super kind of natural looking makeup look soon. But yeah, that, even when I'm doing like a full face, that looks really, really nice. So I'm then gonna pretty much do the same thing, but with the blush. And I'm gonna take the same brush and just tap that in. They're like, it's quite an oily gel-like cream, which makes everything just blend out so much more nicely. It's not like you're trying to rub just like a thick cream or anything on your face and it looks a little bit smudgy or anything. It does blend out really, really nicely. Bit on my nose, just a tiny bit, all right? Just a little bit. Okay, so far so good. So now, I am gonna make sure that I don't really powder down my cheeks too much. I'm gonna basically try and avoid them completely because I do wanna try this highlighter. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with this powder here. This isn't a new powder or anything, but I got it in TK Maxx. Normally it's like 42 quid. I snagged it for it was like 15 pounds or something, but it is. Oh my God, I just ripped off my nail. Eh. I'm just gonna carry on to be honest. You can deal with my crusty looking nail. How weird does that look? I never don't have nails in my videos. But yeah, I'll. I'll I'll put that back on in a minute. My, my thumb might come in handy. But anyway, this is called the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. And I got it in the shade Apricot Light. I'm just gonna pop that under my under eyes. Whoa. That blurred that out. Oh, it's kind of like magic a little bit then. Oh, that is smooth. Let's do a little bit on the chin, because I'm nervous about the chin. When I've got hairs in my mouth. Nothing new there. Like, look at that. It's fully blurring everything out. Woo! A lot of the time, I just buy these products because I'm weak. And as you know, TK Maxx is like my thing. But then sometimes I come across products like this, you know, not just eyeshadow palettes or not just lipsticks or something. I come across like a base product and I'm like, okay, I need to stock up on that. Oh my God, that combination of everything is so, so nice. Even that little bit of texture that I said I had on my chin, it's like diminished it. I love that. That finish is so nice. So now I'm gonna go in with one of the new Huda Beauty bronzers. This one is in the shade medium. Let's have a look at your, ooh. Oh, this is fancy packaging, look at that. Nice. Let's see what the color's like. Okay. That actually looks a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to. This is good. But again, I'm trying to avoid my cheekbones as much. I think it'll be fine with the other product anyway, but I just want to give it a good chance. I'm just going to bronze my cheeks up a little bit with that. And just kind of set it in place a bit more. Has Hella Beauty ever done a powder bronzer? I know she's done the Tantors. But I can't remember if she's actually done a powder bronzer before, but this looks really, really good as well. Oh, this is going so well. This is great. This is exactly what I want because I don't want to go and have to do my makeup all over again. You know, I'm happy with this. Yeah, that is really, really nice. I will be, I'll be using that a lot. So now I'm gonna go in with the Refi Highlighter. Uh, I don't actually know what this is called. Gloss Highlighter, and apparently it's universal. So it's just a little squeezy tube and I'm gonna use my non-nailed thumb right now because it's useful. I haven't tried it yet, but I wonder if this is similar to like the Jamie Genevieve one. It looks like kind of dark when it comes out, but let's see. I'm really hoping I like this. Oh, that's like wet skin. I don't know how long that would last on the skin, but like, if you guys can maybe see on my finger there. Let's do this side again. It goes on and it's like it's got a color, but it does then blend out, it's cool. Look how 
that's like pure gloss. I'm not even really using much either. I swear I've seen Jess use a lot more. I'm just gonna tap that all over. I love that, powder down my face. Proceeds to add glossiness. I'd be curious to see how this would work on deeper and fairer skin tones. It's nice. It's not my, I, don't get me wrong, I really, really like that. I, as you know, personally prefer powder highlights just because I'm so messy and I just, I rub my face and all of that. And so I'm just like, would that stay on my face? But to be fair, it doesn't really feel overly sticky. I feel like I need to set it down slightly. I wonder how that would work. I'm gonna take a little bit of my powder. I wonder if that would actually make it look any different. Yes, yeah, so it takes it down a bit. I'm gonna put the lightest dusting just over my cheeks there. Not to powder it down or anything, just to kind of just give it a layer so it doesn't fall off my face. But yeah, that's really nice. It, it gives you just a proper wet look glow. Nice. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I've tried this mascara before. This actually, my mum used to have this mascara and she used to, cause you know what it's like when you're younger. She used to have like barely any left and I never wore any makeup or anything. And she would basically give me like all of her really, really old makeup that was like clumpy and probably I shouldn't have been wearing it, but I still appreciate that she did it. And she always used to wear this mascara when I was like a really young kid. It's the Maybelline Great Lash uh, Very Black Mascara. The wand isn't that fabulous. But who knows, maybe it'll be good. My mom always had really, really nice lashes. I like it. I actually do really quite like that. It's not my usual at all, but it's not not my usual. It's like not, what the hell am I even trying to say here? I'm not suddenly like, whoa, I found a new mascara. Oh my God, I love it so much. But it's nice. Like, I see why she used to use it all the time. I like this makeup. I really like this. Quite happy with that so far. So now I'm gonna line my lips. This isn't new or anything, but it's just, just the lip line I have. It's the Doll Beauty one in Boy Bye. So I've just lined my lips with that. And I have some of the new NYX Milky Glosses, but I also have the Lifter Glosses from Maybelline that are all stuck together. So I think I'm gonna go in with this more pinky one that's in the shade, I have no idea. Brief. Ooh, smells like sweets. I just wanted a bit of a base, which is why I used the liner. That's quite nice. Um, there was like a lot of hype with these and everyone was saying they're like, no need for filler, Just use a lip gloss. I'm like, that's not how it works. Nice gloss, feels quite comfortable, tastes good. All right guys, I think, I was gonna maybe do lash today, but I actually really kind of like how it looks like this and I ain't going anywhere. I don't want to waste a good pair of lashes, you know? Do you know what I just realized? I have completely missed. I need highlighter. Just a, just a tiny little bit, just on my inner corner. Take a little bit of that. Just pop that. Just on my inner corner a little bit, yeah. And then I'll also do a little bit on my brow bone. All right guys, so this is a finished makeup look for now and I really, really like how it turned out. I feel like this base, just with like my usual boring everyday makeup look, I feel like that would look so, so good. So yeah, loving all the base products. And now the eyeshadow is actually kind of on and everything's done, cleaned up a little bit. I do actually quite like it. I think it looks a lot more, like more, now that it's all on my face with my foundation and stuff. So I, yeah, I actually really quite like that. Was there anything I didn't really like? Um... I mean, the gloss was nice, but I'm not like wowed by it or anything. And then the sample beauty things, it might have been because I used a yellow. Yellows are obviously very, very difficult to make them completely opaque. It wasn't as opaque as I would maybe like it to be, but it still, it still looks good. It was still like, I still like how it looks. So yeah, it's now currently half past 11 in the morning. I'm gonna wear this for a few hours. I actually don't have anything to do today. Uh, it's hot and obviously there's a lot of dewiness going on. So I'm curious to see how this will look in X amount of hours, I might go outside, put the washing on the line, crazy, crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this for a little while and then I will check back with you guys later and show you how it all looks. All right guys, I'm back. It's not too much later. There's already a hair in my mouth. It's 20 to six in the evening and you can see I'm looking a lot more shiny now. My lip gloss is worn off. There's like a little bit of the lip liner on, but yeah, otherwise all my lip product is worn off. My hair's, I don't really know what my hair is doing actually. I actually went and sat in the sun for a little bit, had a little iced coffee, just sat in the sun and chilled. Didn't like sunbathe or anything, but I just sort of sat there for like half an hour. 
at my coffee. I feel like this still looks really quite good actually. The eye makeup and like, the brows, the brows is down to the brow freeze because that stuff literally just does not make your brows move. But everything, to be honest, everything in general is kind of looking the same. I'm just looking a lot more oily. Like if my face kind of kept the same dewiness as before, that's kind of like as far as I would want it to go. In person, it doesn't really look too bad. Like things never do in person. It doesn't look as obvious. But even in person, I would want to powder this down a little bit because I do just look a bit sweaty. And I think because it is quite, you know, natural makeup, despite the fact that I put like 10 base products on my face, I don't, it doesn't look texture or anything, but it is showing, I think because it is a bit more oily, it is showing the texture on my skin just a little bit more than I would like. I did notice earlier, I remember when I did it, I was like, no, I told you I scratched my face and like touching stuff. I went like that earlier and it did scrape a tiny little bit of the highlighter away just because it is so dewy. But yeah, in terms of longevity, if you're someone like me, if you touch your face a lot, if you're a bit of a, if you're a bit of a mess, let's face it, it might not last forever on your skin. So what I would probably do is I would probably use the liquid highlighter and then probably set it down a tiny bit with like another highlighter. Overall though, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like the pink, I really like the purple, I like the little yellow line on my inner corner thing, whatever that is, lids. Face. To be honest, I think probably one of the only things I wasn't that keen on was the gloss. But it wasn't that I wasn't even keen on it. It was just not, I wasn't, it was just a gloss for me. It smelled nice, but yeah, that was kind of it. I think one of the main things that you guys are probably curious about as well as me was the new skin, was it called? The multi juice Skin Tint from Huda Beauty. And I do actually really, really like this. I would want to powder it down more. I think with all my other cream products as well, it's just a bit too much for my skin maybe, or I'm just not used to it. But if I did that, just with like a tiny little bit of concealer, a bit of powder and bronzer, and just kind of left my skin to be a little bit more dewy, I think I would really, really get on with that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you thought of this makeup look. Let me know if you've tried out anything that I tried out today, and let me know if you're gonna be picking anything up after you saw this video. I'm curious actually, is there anything I've actually made you guys buy? I don't know, I see all these like, hashtag so-and-so made me do it, and I'm just curious, like what did I make you buy? Whether it was like, iced coffees, fugglers, 12,000 highlighters. I'm just curious. I'm curious like what you guys have looked at and maybe you've heard me do a good review on it and you've gone, I'll try that. So yeah, let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.